back to my channel. I am so excited to be back home and to tell you all a little bit about what happened during pageant weekend. So pageant weekend was last week. I left on Wednesday early in the morning. I first flew into Detroit and then from Detroit, I flew into Milwaukee, Wisconsin. When I got there, it was around 1230 and fortunately enough, I was able to check in and get my room. I freshened up and then had to go downstairs for orientation that same night. During orientation, I was able to meet so many sister queens that I already been talking to via social media. So it was nice to see them finally in person. Orientation was jam packed with information and I had the opportunity to get the contestants book. I was looking forward to getting that book for a long time, so to see it all come together was so exciting. After orientation, we had state costume rehearsal. So if you were in state costume, you had to stay and practice, and I was in state costume, and I was happy that we got to practice that night. I really was anxious to get on the stage, to fill it out, and to be in the room where I'm actually going to be performing. I needed to get a fill for all of that. After that, they actually left the doors open in case you wanted to rehearse even more and for people that weren't in state costume that wanted to get on the stage so I ended up staying longer and taking that time to go on stage over and over and over again after that I went to my room and I looked through my contestants book and I found out who our judges were and I was reading all of their accolades and oh my gosh these judges were incredible I knew the following day I really had to bring it an interview because these judges we're not gonna be playing around. So I woke up early that following morning. I had to get my makeup done. And then I went to meet up with my pageant coaches from Win A Pageant. And in that time frame, I did a mock interview. So they were asking me questions and getting me warmed up. So by the time I went to my real interview, I was prepared, I was ready, I was feeling confident because I just did it. So having that warm up really helped me to ace my interview. I felt so comfortable coming out of interview. I conveyed everything, almost everything that I wanted to tell them. So after interview, we had time before our next event, which was the contestants event. And in that time frame, I just relaxed, got something to eat, and started to get ready for my contestant event. The contestant event was really cool because it gave me another opportunity to bond with the women that were in my category. We were supposed to bring a gift that represents us and our state. So everyone did that and we put our gifts on this table and everyone grabbed for a bag. We didn't know what we were getting and once we opened our gift, we had to determine which sister queen gave us this gift. Also, during the contestant event, Just Right Cosmetics gave us a makeup tutorial on how to apply eyeshadow, lashes, and to blend your shadows. He showed us different techniques by using our eyelid and measuring where our bone was on our eyelid. It was very helpful and very informative information, and I was so thankful for the tips that they provided. So. Friday, dun, dun, dun. that was a big day. Not as big as Saturday, but it was a big day because we woke up early, we had to rehearse once again. After that, had to get my makeup done, and then I went to state costume, performed a state costume, loved it. I was so obsessed with my state costume. It was the Declaration of Independence, and I was Ms. Independent, and I had lights on my dress that lit up when I was walking. I was so happy and so proud to wear that dress on stage. I got a lot of compliments too. After that, it was time for preliminaries. Preliminaries is when everyone walks, so everyone does their bathing suit, if you're in the category for bathing suit. If not, you do active wear and evening gown. So everyone did that. So Saturday was the big night. Everyone did their intros. It was different from last year because last year no one said anything in the microphone. You just walked across the stage as they called your state and said your name. But this year we had our own microphone that we walked up to. We said our name and the area that we were representing. So that was different and I really liked it. At first I was like, 
I wasn't expecting this. I'm not prepared for this, but it wasn't a big deal. It went fast and it was actually really fun to introduce our own selves. Then they determined who the top 10 was, then who the top five was. To see my looks for preliminaries and finals, follow me right here. much for watching my stars if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this every week and if you want me to make a separate video about preliminaries and finals and how my heart was pounding out of my chest when they were calling top 10 please comment below till next time take care and stay bright my stars